Ladies and gentlemen, in this video, I am going to do two things. Number one, I'm going to make a massive announcement. Number two, I'm going to offer a bunch of you free stuff. 100% free, no questions asked. Have I piqued your interest yet? Tremendous. Let's proceed. Number one, the announcement. I built a chess bot. Now, not exactly me, I'm a YouTuber, but my amazing team of engineers built a chess bot, and that chess bot is named Levi. Levi is on my chess courses website, Chessly. And the purpose of Levi is to help you practice the opening courses that you get. If any of you have ever tried to learn an opening, sometimes it's really difficult. You go play against people, you lose a bunch of points. You try to play against bots, they don't play the opening against you. Levi is designed on three different modes to practice your opening courses against you and then give you feedback, show you how you made it out of the opening. Now, the thing is, Levi generally only plays against you if you own a course, for now. But not for the next 48 hours. This is part two of the announcement. For the next 48 hours, I am granting every single person watching this free access to one course with white and one course with black, E4 and Karl Kahn on Chesley on my website, 100% free so that you can go try to play against Levi and see how you like it. We built Levi uh, off of Maya. Maya is, a, uh, is basically an AI that plays chess like a human. So if you ever felt like you're playing a bot and it's playing like kind of wacky and then plays really strong, Maya is designed to practice against you like a human. So I'm super excited about this feature and I'm gonna play it in this video. That is the purpose of today's video. And yes, it's called Levi because that's not my name. So you get free access to a course for the next two days to practice against Levi, then of course we will, yeah, we will go back to, if, 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 unless you buy it, of course. Uh, so I'm gonna put the link in the description. You go to chessley.com, you just gotta make an account, you pop into your dashboard and you will see Play Levi. It's got a big sticker over here with a new, you click Play Levi, and this is one of my games against Levi already. So this is, this is where it saves. Uh, and uh, you hit Play Now. And here, you know, you'll see which difficulty. We'll start with Easy. Uh, and then, um, you know, you can click easy, whatever you can, and, and so on. I'm going to do easy and we're going to do E4 New York style and you will see E4 New York style and under black, you will see at a minimum Karo Khan. Okay. Because we are, that is what we are doing. So E4 New York style and let's go. Show me your best bozo says Levi and, uh, life is good. I have to start the game because I'm playing with the white pieces and that's how chess works. Now, a couple of quick things. We don't have pre-moving yet. Uh, because actually that feature is somewhat difficult to code and we're working on it. So in the E4 New York style, uh, we, we go for the Vienna and that is what I'm going to do. And right now Levi, okay, so Levi played this move, which is, it's not the most popular move. Uh, and I don't know if Levi is deviating from, from, from known territory that early, but, uh, I'm going to play what, what I think is, uh, is a normal way to play. Um, <laughs> in the Vienna, you're supposed to play like this and then you're supposed to play pawn to F4. Okay, and that's that's what we're doing. We're we're defending with the bishop. We're gonna put the knight right here. Okay, Levi captures and keeps telling me, you know, show me your best. Uh, by the way, we will be adding more voice lines, uh, you know, uh, soon. Uh, just not at the very moment. This is version one, so you are all getting to test version one of Levi, and then you will be able to leave feedback. So. I see this pin, uh, general rule of thumb, it's, it's good to target the bishop. I don't think that's a particularly good move to capture. Uh, it kind of allows me to get an active queen, but Levi seems very confident targeting my queen and my pawn. I'm gonna slide the queen back and uh, attack the knight on d4. Okay, the knight goes back. Yeah, and now, so I mean, so far so good. Levi playing, I think, like a, like a pretty decent 900. Uh, I haven't gotten my rook into the game yet, so I might as well, you know, add, uh, add my rook to the party. And now I'm thinking, you know, maybe I'm going to go attack Levi on this side of the board. Uh, knight here to get a trade and then keep pressuring doesn't, doesn't look that bad. Let's play knight to d5. Um, pawn takes, not a bad move. Targets the bishop, targets the knight. But let's take like this. Uh, okay, that's... That's a threat, and maybe potentially bishop here, so I'm going to play c3. But Levi's playing quite well. I mean, I got to tell you, nice move, by the way. Oh, my God. <laughs> That's terrifying. So he played like a, like a solid, I think, 1100, you know? I'm going to trade bishops. Uh, we're going we're gonna to go here. And so far, so good. I mean, listen, if I can't beat my 900 uh, equivalent in, in AI mode, 
uh, we might have some problems. I can take, but then the Rook is going to come here. I'm, I'm not actually sure how good that is. So let's keep our focus on, on, on the Vienna attack. So let's play Rook F2, and then let's play Rook here. Uh, okay, let's slide back. And, and, and this is just in our line of sight. That is basically what we're playing for. I mean, Le Levi is not letting me win easily. I mean, <laughs> this is really good practice, I feel like. Uh, I'm going to go for the pawn, though. It is weak, and I'm going to attack it. And, and yes, it, it is about time that Levi made one mistake, I suppose. But, I mean, it was, it was a good fight. I'm going to slide back. Uh, we're up, so, you know, I'll make a trade. Uh, and now we'll just have to very slowly and methodically win this game without making any catastrophic mistakes because that would be very embarrassing. Uh, we'll go here. The queen is hanging. Knight is under pressure. And it took Levi 27 moves, but Levi blundered. And that, you know, that's life. Uh, we'll trade the rooks. Let's just not blunder any perpetual check. Let's bring the queen back to f2. I can, I can even sacrifice and win the pawn endgame. Let's do that. It's completely... And by the way, yeah, we'll, we'll, we'll have pre-moving on, but... Uh, this is, you know, you don't have to play like this, but the, you, you can, and this is all normal. And I gotta tell you, Levi did good. Now, when this game is done, what we're gonna see, you're gonna get, you're gonna get to see feedback on your game. So this is probably the most useful thing uh, within Levi, uh, is that after you finish a game, the point is not to be like game review. Chess.com's got game review on lock, all the brilliant moves, all the blunders. That's not exactly what we're showing you. What we're gonna be showing you on Levi is uh, how well you played the opening. And did you have a good position after the opening ended? And that to me is, is extremely important stuff. So let's cut the king off. You know, black is gonna, uh, you know, get the king to the edge of the board here, and this is checkmate uh, right now in two moves, okay? You won by checkmate. Now, what you do when the game is over, you can click new game, but what I think is useful is to click feedback, and feedback is very fascinating. So, first what happens on the feedback page is, um, is uh, you know, it, it, it thinks for a little bit, and this takes a little while, but first what happens is you can click go to feedback, and there it is. And it says the bot deviated at the move knight c6 and you played f4, which was a good move. And then every three moves, it gives you an update of your opening. So you'll notice that I maintained plus 0.3, plus 0.3, plus 0.7. You were fine after the deviation move and you had a slight advantage six moves after. So the, 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 we built Levi so that it would give you feedback on how you did when the opening ended and six moves later. And that way you can see the stability of your opening. So if you click on any of these moves, it allows you to go there. You obviously have a stockfish graph. I mean, you've seen this before, but we're, we're, our focus here is not on brilliancies. It's not on, you know, uh, it, 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 it's not on that stuff. All right, you get enough of that. The point here is to show you how did you play your opening? Like, and in the future, we will save all of these moves and we will tell you how you did, right? So the bot went here and that was a deviation. And, and after that, at, by move 11, we had an advantage. And as you can see, I had an advantage for, for majority of the game. Now, uh, again, uh, I, will, uh, I will exit and we will come to this page. And, and by the way, uh, also all the courses are 25% off right now, just as a small detail, um, because it's, uh, it's the holidays. You can also leave feedback if you'd like, by the way. Um, you can, uh, you can leave feedback. Now, I'm going to play the medium bot. I'm going to play with black. Let's say I play a, uh, a Karo Khan, right? So we're going up now. And, uh, the bot plays e4. So let's see how this bot does. And this time, I'm going to try to deviate, uh, and, and not play fully correctly. So we're playing a Karo Khan. Okay, we have an exchange Karo Khan. Uh, bot plays knight f3. Um, I mean, it's a little hard to deviate now, isn't it? So I'll play knight c6. Bot is, I think, still in the opening. And um, how about how about this? How about I play queen a5 check? Okay, I'm going to attack the, the bishop and the... Right, so everything's protected. And now, um, I mean, I obviously I don't want to make a huge mistake, but uh, I, let me make a couple of inaccurate moves. So I will play e5, which is... Definitely a mistake, right? So now I've I've deviated and I'm under pressure. So let's just let's just see what happens. Now, of course, I, it's this bot is around fifteen hundred, so I should probably still be able to win. 
Uh, but, you know, you, 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 we'll see. <laughs> so pawn takes, I'm down a pawn, right? Position is not particularly good. Uh, and, uh, you know, I'm gonna, I'm gonna try to finish up my development here by playing bishop f5. And maybe something like rook b8. So, so the opening has not gone well for me. I got caught in the opening. I, I, I'm definitely not doing particularly well. Uh, but now, now we can, you know, now we can fight back. So let's play knight to g6. I'm, I'm a little bit concerned. Okay, yep, discovered attack. Uh, I can slide back with my queen. Let me, let me offer a bishop trade, though. Okay, we, we're trading. I'm still down a pawn. Uh, that's completely reasonable. Let's castle. This is not a fork, but that is... Okay, the bot missed it. Okay, so again, intermediate bot did not, did not catch the fork. That's fine. Uh, I don't want to get forked, so I'm going to come back. I'm a pawn down still. Could be worse. So if I capture, is that a thing? Am I, am I getting forked there? Because the rook is... Okay. <laughs> so now I need to make sure not to like lose the game right away. And, and that's actually shockingly difficult to do. Let's play rook f7 to stop this. Um, is the bot gonna go to the open file? Oh my goodness, it is actually playing super well. So this is, this is what I'm saying, like, I really feel like, uh, Levi is quite good practice. Uh, sometimes Levi does some goofy stuff and, and makes, like, silly mistakes, but, I mean, so do humans, you know? So let's, let's trade the knight, I think the knight is a little bit too powerful. Um, and, you know, rook here is probably a good move. Luckily, Levi did not do that. I'm gonna go here to try to trade and open up my, my rook. And yeah, luckily Levi is, you know, an intermediate, so doesn't quite get endgames that well. So now we're gonna double up and maybe just attack these pawns. So I'm down a pawn, but I've managed to kind of get out of the worst of it. Um, I mean, I could even play rook f7 here and I could get a draw. I mean, you know, I could, I could maybe draw the game. Levi does tend to repeat moves for some reason. Uh, so, okay, we're in a vortex here. And it, it turns out that, you know, Levi repeats moves with me and we save the draw. All right, we, we you know, it could have been worse. Like, it could have been a big disaster. Um, actually, here it's already kind of difficult because I will go here. For example, uh, we'll, 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 we'll get our feedback first. But it was, it was actually looking, you know, not so bad. Now, one other thing that I did not exactly mention, uh, which you can see in the feedback is where the position is in the course. So this is really interesting. Um, you're gonna get your feedback, right? You're gonna get your feedback. And then once the feedback comes, see, see, look at this. Look, 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 you were fine at the deviation, but six moves after white had a clear advantage. So my opening rating is a big thumbs down. <laughs> so I got my feedback. My feedback says, I went here. Right, I deviated, but this is fine. The 97, I'm already losing, right? I'm losing, this is really, really bad. So it said, your opening rating uh, was no good. And uh, yeah, it could have it been a lot better. Now, what's interesting is that in the beginning, um, over here, you can actually see where the positions occurred in the course. So, this is the funny thing, right? You can go to the study that you own, of the course that you own, and then analyze it, which, is, which, which I find really, look at this. You can go here, you can click it, and boom, look at that. Now you are literally in chapter four, lesson two of your Karl Kahn course, and you are studying the line. And okay, I mean, I played knight c6, but see, you know, this is a reasonable, and, and, and you know, it shows you the explanation. I should have went here, bishop d3, and then, in, you know, in the course, this happens, and, and we, we could have we made a transposition, but fine. Um, and that's, look at that, right? And it, it, it shows you where it is in the course that you own. We kind of are trying to, f like, finish up this ecosystem of, uh, of, of you have the course, like, you played a training game, and now this is where it's available in the course. And then obviously uh, you deviated and, and, and then after that, you know, everything after the deviation, you know, is what it is. Uh, and that's, that, that's, that's uh, to me, I think this is a, a very fascinating tool. But by the end of the game, when we were repeating, you see the evaluation is, is already back to equal. Um, but uh, yeah, this kind of shows you, yeah, rough. And if you want to analyze, you want to deep dive, you can just click analyze and it'll just open up another tab. You can also import the game into 
uh, wherever you play chess or analyze your chess. Again, our goal with this was not to build a game review. This is not, that's not what we're trying to accomplish here. That already exists. But the goal was to get you to, to see how you do in the opening and several moves later. Now, why don't we go back uh, and, uh, and, and after going back, why don't we play uh, the hard bot? Now, the hard bot's a fascinating one. It, uh, it, 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 it sometimes does super well, and sometimes it, 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 it plays a little bit all over the place. We're still trying to kind of narrow it down. I'm going to play Gambits for Black, although you can play Karo Khan again. Um, I'm going to play the Gambits for Black. Here we go. And um, it plays F4 against me. Wow. That is not what I was expecting. You know what? I'm just going to resign. <laughs> I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to play, uh, I'm going to play the Karoka. I, I mean, there, there are some, but that's not, you know, nobody plays F4. So let's play, let's play the hard bot. Let's play the Karokan. And uh, let's see what the, what the hard bot plays against me. It plays D3. Wow. Okay. So is it going to play a King's Indian attack? Yes. That's a pretty rare line. I have to tell you. Um, the best line here for black is to take the center with e5, g3. Okay, this is normal stuff. Uh, this is in the Karl Kahn course. Bishop d6. And now I will castle. The bot plays pretty fast, pretty intimidating. So there's a lot of things we can do here. I mean, rook e8, a5. At this point, I'm a little bit less concerned of playing exactly what's recommended in the course and a little bit more just like figuring it out on my, on my own. So I'm going to put my rook in the center. The bot is preparing an attack. It's going to play king h2. It's also stopping me from playing bishop g4. Um, one thing you don't want to do against the king's Indian attack is lock the center. That sort of allows uh, the opponent to play f4. Let's see if the hard bot does that. Uh-oh. <laughs> Uh-oh. Oh, my goodness. All right. Well, this could be instructive. I'm going to take a little bit of space as well and try to put my knight here, but I'm about to get absolutely steamrolled. Oh, my goodness. Oh, my goodness. Uh-oh. This is, this is like a worse nightmare. So this is, this is if you play a Karl Khan, your opponent plays King's Indian attack, and now, I mean, I am just in... I, I'm, I'm almost losing. Just so you understand, from a human standpoint, I am in serious trouble. But let's see. Let's see if the bot is able to... Oh, <laughs> no, 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 no. Levi... Chill, man. I'm playing my playing my alter ego out here now. I'm gonna go h6 and try to defend myself, but h6 is not a good move because h6 is what we call a hook. This is now a hook in my position, and it allows the bot to uh, to target uh, something in my territory to force a trade. Now, this was my idea, but h4 is really strong now. Oh my god, <laughs> this is really bad. I was actually hoping I would beat Levi and I would like look really smart. But, uh, wow, I'm, I'm, I mean, I might just, I might straight up lose to Levi. That is pretty wild. But that'll show you that it's a, it's pretty strong. Um, okay, I mean, I sort of regret giving it this position. I, I gotta tell you. All right, g5 to try to fight back looks terrible. Let's play bishop e7 to stop g5. Oh my, it's just gonna go here and here. I mean, how do I, what do I do here? I, I, I really don't want to go g5, but I, I mean, I might just have... But that looks horrendous. But getting g5 here is terrible, too. All right, let's go g5 and just... You know what? If we lose, we lose, right? Like, what, what, what can I do? I'm going to take with the knight to try to plug the hole. And maybe f6. f6. You know what? f6 and, and maybe I... Oh! <laughs> Bishop f8 and run my king also? Oh my goodness, this is absolutely terrifying. Uh, maybe rookie seven. If I just make a run for it, it's going to take... Maybe, you know what? I'm, I'm going to go. I mean, I, I, I don't... I can't take with the H pawn because, I, I mean, I just don't think I can allow the rook in. I think if I allow the rook in, I'm, I'm probably just losing. So I think I'm going to take with the F pawn. Yeah, the rook is, is pressuring some stuff. Luckily, though, that's defended at least for now. And, you know, I was thinking to just play something like queen f6. And after this, it looks a little bit okay. However, if white is able to sacrifice on h6 and get into the position, it could be very, very dangerous. Um, but I'm, I mean, I can play, no, I can't play knight e7 because then I would lose the defense of this pawn. So maybe I just keep running, and if the bot sacrifices, it sacrifices, and I lose. Okay, this is a sign of a bot that might be a little confused, though. So now let's run the king to safety. 
Yeah, and I and I mean I I just think Levi is preparing the sacrifice, and if it works, it works. Like what what can I do? Uh, let's go bishop here. I think the sacrifice is coming. It's not. Is Levi just trying to overload my nervous system? Like what is what is going on? Uh, okay. Uh, well, my king's here. My king kind of made it out, and maybe now I can bring some help over there. Maybe. By the way, like. Yeah, okay, the knight is trying to come around this way, so I think I should stop that. But I can also create counterplay. I mean, Levi did all of this, but Levi's not sacrificing for some reason, because bots are weird. So maybe I just, I just go for it. Like, maybe I'm going to be the one attacking soon. I'm going to play rook c8 and c4. Right? Levi's kind of stuck. Okay, I think we're making progress. We are making a huge comeback. Let's go. Oh my goodness, bots are so weird. Uh, I want to move my knight, but I'm a little bit worried. Maybe I play bishop e8. Maybe I play bishop g7 and then bishop e8. Maybe I play knight a5 to try to put the rook on c2. Uh-huh. I mean, it still has this, but it's just not doing it. it it's, it's just not sacrificing, so I guess I'm going to go get counterplay. Oh my, whoa. Knight b3. I mean, it looks like I'm accomplishing something, but I could completely not be. So that's... Okay, but now, now the rook left. Wait, now the rook left. So now I can attack the rook. Yes, this is progress. Look at this. I'm unraveling. Okay, and now we're going to double. And, and I'm, I think I'm happy. Oh, this is good. This is very good. This is a whole different story now than what we had a moment ago. And I'm sliding out of the way to double. And the bot, I think, is just totally collapsing. Uh, I could get my queen over. I can check. I'm getting over here. I'm getting with my queen. Huge comeback. Oh my goodness, the queen's getting to c2. Oh, just, it hung mate. It was a 50-50. Well, I guess it should have went king d1 there. And I guess it just blundered checkmate. Wow, that was, that was a crazy game. I mean, I think Levi had a pretty big advantage in the opening. Uh, we can, we can do a little feedback there. Um... Wow, okay. So... Okay, okay, okay. Very interesting. Let's go to our feedback. So, Levi deviated super early. See, the failed King's Indian. <laughs> uh, and it deviated really early in the game. Uh, I played correctly, and then it went knight f3, and then, and then it went g3. Although... In the, uh, oops, this is the previous game. In, in, um, here it deviated, you know, it's claiming it technically deviated on, on g3. And I played this, which was a good move. So from the opening, I was fine. But, but then knight c6, I was worse. You see? I was worse. We consider this okay because it's kind of in the balance, like it's not plus three. But obviously, you don't really want to give away any advantage to your opponent. Uh, but, uh, so maybe in the future this will be red. Again, this is, like, completely version 1, and we built it, and we're ready for there to be small problems. This is a very unpleasant position, and it only got worse. Like, it was plus 1.6 here, you know, and, and Levi was attacking me, and I think the maximum it was was here, plus 2, uh, and it was plus 2 because I would imagine there's a sacrifice, and, you know, Levi could have just won, uh, but it didn't. It didn't. Uh, and it, it, it allowed me to get back into the game. I managed to run my king to the other side. And slowly, it, you know, it just kind of it lost its way. It didn't know what to do. And then big boss Gotham Chess took over, got into the position. And this was already very bad news. So we, we, we got a counterattack on this side of the board. Um, I mean, I think it kind of gave up on the position a little bit. But, you know, such is life. And the hard bot, you know, the hard bot is, is one of the most, uh, one of the most difficult to create um, because it, it has to play like a human for a, for a, you know, a good amount of time. Uh, and then, uh, you know, it has to, it, at some point it's got to make a mistake, right? And then you have to punish it. So um, at the moment, the bot has a tendency to deviate from the course a bit early. Uh, we will change this. So the bot probably, you know, at, at the early levels, it will be deviating quite soon. Uh, later it will not, so it will, uh, it will probably play until move seven, eight, nine, like something that you see in the course, uh, and then it will, uh, after that it will play on its own, for, but again, even now, 
even if it's going to deviate like a little bit early, you're still getting positions that look very similar to the course. And ultimately, you will get a lot of practical experiences. So easy, medium, hard. This is around the range that it's going to play against you. You can choose with white and black if you have a course. And for the next two days, even if you don't own any courses, E4 will pop up here and you will have access. So what that means, by the way, is if you go to courses, uh, you, will, uh, you will see E4. So you, you can actually go play around. You can play this opening against Levi. You can practice drills in random order. You can do quiz shuffle. Right, so these are all features. Like, if you don't know, there are so many ways to study my opening courses. Um, they have hours of video. They have quizzes. They have, uh, you know, and that's, you have an explore page, which allows you to, to mess around to find a certain, if you play a game on chess.com or something, and, you know, you, 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 you don't know where the, how to find the, well, I, I don't know which study it is, E4, Knight, C3. Oh, where is this? View study. Oh, okay, perfect. Boom. Like, these are all features that, that really help the experience. And like I said in the beginning of this video, for the next two days, those of you that don't have access to anything uh, and cannot play against Leo, you will get access to these two courses uh, at a minimum. Okay? Now, those of you who own the courses, don't worry. We're not just giving away stuff for free. After two days, access will be revoked. The purpose of this is to just give people a chance at playing Levi. And also, we want to see, we want to see the data. We want to see how Levi plays. So we want to make Levi better. All right? Again, we didn't just build any type of bot. There's a million different bots you can play. There's Martin, Nelson, all the bots like on, on chess.com. That's not the point. This is specifically to practice your opening courses. Because I think it is really difficult to learn opening courses. And I think a lot of you would agree with me. It's difficult to learn openings. You play humans, they don't play what you want to play. You play bots, they don't play what you want to play. You play humans, you lose rating. This is all unrated. This is all to help you uh, practice your openings. And um, yeah. So enjoy. Go play against Levi. We want to see uh, how much traffic the website can also handle. How many hundreds or thousands of you might play against Levi uh, at the same time. And um, if you want to buy a course for the next two days, also, they are 25% uh, off. So uh, technically, this was, you know, you could say, well, this was one big uh, promo video. But again, I'm mostly excited about the fact that we have a bot that plays like a human. We don't, re we don't have a bot that plays like a really bad bot and then like a really good bot. We tried to build something that will emulate what it's like to play rapid games on chess.com and help you practice in a comfortable environment and then you know go play uh, against humans once you feel comfortable and to practice your openings so that's the purpose of today's video uh enjoy your stuff and uh yeah get out of here <laughs>